You wake up in the middle of the night from the feeling as if someone's peering at you from the darkness. You open your eyes and see... Oh, hi, Biscuit. It's your pet hamster that you took in just yesterday. It's sitting right before you. And there's something primal about it. Suddenly, the hamster stands up on his hind legs and howls like a wolf, only much higher, like a whistle. Then, Biscuit scampers to the window, takes one last look at you, and jumps out into the street. What in the world was that? Calm down. It's just that what you took for a hamster was really a werewolf mouse. Or simply, grasshopper mouse. It's a perfect hunter. It's agile, quick, and doesn't feel pain. The mouse lives in North America and doesn't like digging holes. Why work if you can drive the owners out of their homes? This cute ball of fuzz preys on grasshoppers, snakes, and spiders. But most of all, it loves dangerous prey. Arizona bark scorpions are extremely venomous, but our cutie here, he doesn't care. Over millions of years of evolution, The rodent learned to process scorpion neurotoxins into an energy drink. The venom is, for this mouse, like 100 cups of coffee for you. Plus, it helps you not feel pain. The more venom in the mouse's body, the more it looks like a Viking gone berserk. After the battle, the rodent raises its head into the night sky and howls. The sound is more like a whistle, but loud. If the animal howled in the center of a soccer field, you'd hear it from the stands. This way, the mouse makes itself known and tells everyone, I'm in charge here, so don't you dare cross me. You don't believe? (laughs) Ask the poor scorpion. Now, if for some reason you ever, you know, decide to wake up a sleeping giant panda or cuddle it, just remember, that's a bad idea. Even fearless big cats like snow leopards are wary of bothering pandas in the wild. The ones you see in the zoo might not be that active, but they still have a massive jaw that can deliver a powerful bite. Their huge false thumb lets them get a good grip on their enemies. The most misleading thing about the leopard seal is its mouth, which always appears to be smiling. But they're actually rather aggressive animals and effective lone hunters. They like to play cat and mouse with their food, which includes penguins, fish, squid, and even smaller seals. Not so long ago, a leopard seal even dragged a marine biologist deep underwater. Hey, stop playing with your food! Anteaters feed on insects, citrus fruit, and avocados. Watch out! They have no teeth, poor vision, and bad hearing. Sounds kind of like my Uncle Rudy. They aren't aggressive and stay away from people. But if humans walk on their trails, anteaters can turn fierce and may fight. They get on their hind legs, use their tails for balance, and attack with their claws that are strong enough to hurt a jaguar or a land rover. Fluffy alpacas may seem warm-hearted, but they still have ways of defending themselves. They can spit up to 10 feet, and you don't want that stuff getting in your eyes because it contains stomach acid along with chewed up grass. They can bite with their sharp fighting teeth that are at the back of their mouths, and they have soft toes to give enemies a good kick. They can't really do more damage than you might get in a fight with a child, but it's best not to upset them. You're in your car driving back home when you see some dogs up for adoption. You figure, why not rescue a cute pooch and give it a warm home? You pull over and see a massive goliath of a dog. It's got pointy ears and huge paws. Its eyes are deep and sharp. You're staring at a wolf-dog hybrid. This can happen in the wild, and it's pretty common to see in many households. It's actually the most common wild and domesticated animal cross out there, with an estimated 400,000 of these as pets in the United States alone. There are many combinations of these animals, but the most common are gray wolves mixed with German shepherds or Siberian huskies. These crosses may seem majestic, but they're really dangerous to have around the house. Many cases were reported of wolf dogs attacking their owners for random and unpredictable reasons. It's best to leave these doggos alone. 
And speaking of wild doggos, some of the most dangerous ones out there also look quite adorable. You better keep some distance if you ever come across one of these, because they will chase after you. They're even called the kings of Australia, the one and only dingo. These animals have been around for hundreds of years across Southeast Asia to Australia. Their golden brown color blends with their surroundings, making them even more dangerous when lurking around for prey. And just like a wolf-dog hybrid, many dingoes are also bred with domesticated dogs to create a dingo-doggo combo. Yeah, I said that. Imagine that you got a job in a company creating our planet. You come to the office and your boss says, Newbie, I need a project on a new animal on my desk tonight. Beside yourself, you tried a bit too hard, and the result was the platypus. The animal is covered with soft fur. It's got a tail like a beaver's, flippers, and a duck's bill. The platypus lays eggs, but it feeds its young with milk. (laughs) You've got a crazy imagination. Male platypuses have venomous spurs on their hind legs. The venom isn't dangerous to humans, but you still better avoid petting the animal. If it stings you with those spurs, then a week of severe pain is guaranteed. What animal has the nastiest temperament on the planet? That's easy, a honey badger. Most of all, it resembles a skunk that visits the wrestling gym five times a week. And it smells like that too. The honey badger weighs as much as a two-year-old child, but it's not afraid of anyone. It doesn't care who's confronting it, be it a venomous snake, two lions, or a pack of hyenas. It'll attack them and win. You want honey? No problem. Befriend a badger, and it'll demolish a beehive for you. It's not afraid of stings. The honey badger has thick skin that's difficult to break through, and also sharp claws and strong jaws. The honey badger scares everyone in Africa, but it's got cousins in North America and Eurasia. Those guys have a bad temper, too. Now, this one may seem like a no-brainer, but there are enthusiasts out there who keep venomous snakes in their houses. Not everyone can handle those serpents since they need proper care and attention. Some states even banned owning them. Sure, it may be pretty cool to show off one of these to a group of friends at a party, but stats show that there are at least 10,000 snake bites a year in the United States. Some of these are pets. Snake handling professionals equip themselves with proper gear and tools when extracting them from unwanted areas. So having one in the house on purpose is risky enough. And there are many venomous snakes in the wild that are actually in danger and shouldn't be kept at home unless for nurturing. Swans tend to see humans as the biggest danger to their homes and families. Male swans get especially aggressive during the spring nesting season from April to June. When kayakers, rowers, or anglers get too close to their nests, swans start hissing and flapping their wings. If you don't pay attention to these warning signs, the swan might even try to flip your boat over. Dolphins are the only species on the planet, apart from humans, that can take another creature's life for no logical reason. Males sometimes attack female dolphins or even baby ones, and they don't do it for food. If an angry dolphin chases you, you have no chance of outswimming it. They can move at 22 miles per hour. The top speed of Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps is only 6 miles per hour, so he can't help you. Slow lorises are the only venomous primates in the world. They carry poison in their elbows. It's transferred to their mouths during grooming to protect their babies. Plus, they scare off predators like pythons and eagle hawks using special markings that show how fearsome they are. If a slow loris bites a person who ends up on its territory or annoys it, the result can be rashes, anaphylactic shock, or, you know, even worse. (sighs) It's a rainy Thursday evening. And you curl up in your armchair with a cup of hot chocolate and a new bright side video. Suddenly, you notice a scary shadow above you. There's a monster on the wall with 100 legs and antenna on its head. You start dialing 911 and your mom at the same time. 
While you're on the phone, your guest moves at lightning speed. Two seconds, and you can no longer see it. You grab a mop and hide in your closet. With your hand shaking, you open the browser and type scary beast inside my house. You scroll before you finally find the right one. House Centipede. Turns out it only has 15 pairs of legs, two well-developed eyes, and two long, sensitive antenna to pick up smells and vibrations. It carries venom in the legs located by the head and near the mouth. And it can hold more than one prey in its legs using them like a lasso. All this makes your guest an excellent hunter. Somehow, all the web pages you're looking at are telling you to leave the beast alone and be happy it's in your house. A lot of people are trying to get rid of them. But house centipedes are a natural and free pest control in your home. They'll help you get rid of bugs, flies, ants, moths, spiders, termites, and cockroaches. You, as a human, are simply not on their menu. They're active night hunters, and they don't leave webs or traps anywhere. They don't build nests in house either, and don't snack on your furniture, clothing, food, or pets. They move without making a sound and without leaving any dirty traces behind. House centipedes don't carry any diseases and in 99% of cases, get out at night when you can't see them. They're always moving around looking for prey. Because they move quickly, you might not notice them at all. They would only try biting you if you attack them first. Even then, they can't bite through skin. It feels like a light bee sting. Nah, nothing too crazy. This sounds promising, and you're almost ready to get out of your hiding spot. Ah! You scream like a girl. It's there again. Quickly, you don't need to feel comfortable sharing your home with this multi-legged creature. You grab a jar and a paper. It's running across the room. It's under the bookshelf. Wait for it to get out on the wall. You turn off the lights to make it feel more relaxed. It's still now. And so, it's done! You take it outside and hope it will still do the pest control job out there. So, you're at home, enjoying your evening tea under a warm blanket, when all of a sudden you see a huge, no, enormous mosquito. Its long and gangly legs have a span of your palm, and it clumsily bumps into all the obstacles it meets. Despite its awkward appearance, it's still terrifying. What if it carries malaria? What if it eats you alive in your sleep? Slowly, not to draw the monster's attention to yourself, you get out from your soft chair and run for it into the bathroom, lock yourself in there, and open the browser on your phone. After a few seconds, you draw a ragged breath of relief. Turns out it's just a crane fly, not a mosquito at all. It might look like a ferocious beast, but it's actually peaceful and even defenseless. Many crane flies don't even have mouths, so they don't eat at all. And those that have a mouthpiece will only munch on sweet flower nectar. Crane flies are really clumsy in the air. Their rather short wings are no match for their huge bodies and long legs. So they're slow, and it's easy to catch them. Birds and frogs, as well as bats and cats, love them as a treat. The only way they can avoid being eaten is by losing a limb. Their legs easily break off even when nothing touches them. And if you're still unconvinced not to scram and set your house on fire when you see one, consider this. Crane flies can tell you if the water pool you're about to swim in is of good quality. If you see these bugs on or above the water, you're good to go. It's been a busy night. You decide to watch some TV. Ouch! What a monster! It's a Goliath bird eater, the largest spider in the world. And just like the house centipede, it looks way scarier than it actually is. The Goliath diet includes insects, frogs, and rodents. It lives in northern South America. Despite its huge size, it can't hurt a human with its venom, no more than a bee sting. The next guest on the show is the whale shark, obviously not a bug. It's the largest shark and fish in the world, slightly bigger than a double-decker bus and as heavy as five elephants. They have 300 tiny teeth in their mouth, and they use those on plankton and the occasional fish. Whale sharks are slow swimmers and the kindest of all sharks. They even play with divers. In fact, humans are more dangerous to them than they are to humans. Despite its huge size, giant African millipede is a shy guy and would rather hide under the rocks all day. The only thing it can attack is dry leaves on the ground. This way, it plays its role for the environment. 
Australian thorny dragons are lizards with scary-looking spikes on their bodies. They move around the scrubs and deserts in search of ants. That's their favorite and only meal, and they can eat thousands of small ants a day. They catch them with their sticky tongues. Thorny dragons use their spikes to protect themselves against predators and won't ever attack a human. Their superpower is changing color depending on temperature. Wrinkle-faced bats live in Central and South America. They only eat fruit, and their face shape and skin helps them with it. They have terrible table manners and shove their face completely in their lunch. All the wrinkles help the fruit juices funnel directly into the mouth. Oh, what a great idea! I should try that! I.I.s are lemurs that live only in Madagascar. An old local superstition says meeting one of those is really bad luck. In fact, they're harmless creatures that feed on insects and larvae. They quickly tap on tree trunks to find food and take it out with their long middle fingers. I.I.s prefer to stay on trees and barely get down on the ground, so you're unlikely to ever bump into one anyway. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.